the orange one here. We're going to start from the load screen here. Um, I haven't really shown you guys this because it's kind of insane, but I've been updating the game through various versions, and I just wanted to show you all of the errors that generate now because this save file has old code from old versions. <laughs> they just keep on getting put into new versions, and, and that's also getting in, like stuff. So it's like this onion layer of old versions with new versions that have created all these errors, but the game still works and it's totally fine. And you guys like, for the most part, don't see or know or about any of that. So I just <laughs> kind of wanted to show you that. So anyways, um, I ran down here, got to the mech. Um, I think these guys were already dead. I can't remember. But this mech apparently is fleeing, but it doesn't ever actually move. I'm not going to waste time right now because I don't have the temperature to do so. But if you press E and then select it, if you have the right type of e ID card, you can make it yours. So now this will accept a pilot, right? So I've got this machine that I could um, have accept me. But I'm instead I'm just gonna push it a little bit. Um, because it takes um some time to, to move in this thing. So I'm just gonna move it a little bit and then I'm gonna run back um to somewhere that's a little bit warmer. There's a science ID card there. I guess we can pick that up. Um yeah, we we've, we've got the unfortunate challenge of trying to get that mech out of here. Oh no, there we go, while well, not freezing to death. Thought we were going to start falling on our face there quite a bit. Okay, let's get in here, and turn that off, and <laughs> we're back in our safe spot, kind of, semi-safe spot. Let's get our body temperature back up to normal, coughing. Um, all right, that's, oh, nope. I don't know what key I just pressed there. Um, activate our electric outfit again. Let our temperature get up a little bit warmer. And then I'm gonna run out and try and get to that mech. I know we're running, but it's okay. We're gonna be in a mech soon. It will be able to run for me, right? Isn't that how it works? see we will see just how much it runs for me i'm gonna not have all my stamina gone just in case it doesn't run that much for me you know seems like a smart call so oh yeah i need to not have my weapon out i could have also had that put away and that would have saved us some time here not a whole lot of time so yes we can take control and I did kind of play around with this a little bit beforehand. I spawned one in just to see how you, you get it. So look, there's this little laser cannon here. And that thing is pretty dope. Uh, if I run and walk, it seems to be taking the same speed. So I think that this thing is slow. 180 is, I think, about twice as um, I think it's about half our speed or something. So I'm just going to leave that there and run back to our little spot and we'll come back for it and we'll, we'll get it. It'll be out of here soon enough. This is pretty repetitive, I know, but trust me, we don't want to be very cold like that. That's how you get, like, actually hurt in this game. In the cold. Okay, so our temperature. Oh, I didn't even turn off my thermal outfit. That was kind of dumb. Kind of wasting it there. Didn't really need it on. Okay, um, run, please. And it's just right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, this thing's gonna be out of here soon enough. Climb in. You don't have to run. You know, it doesn't even make you go faster. We're not going to be able to go over the fence there. 
might be able to have just knocked it through. I'm not sure. Okay, um, we want to take this, I don't know, to those stairs, maybe? Or the other stairs that I want to go to? Is it that stair right there, or these stairs, maybe? I'm just going to get this a little bit closer to the stairs. And, yeah. I think that that's probably pretty good for now. We'll come back for it soon. We'll finish it up soon. <laughs> and... Just about... Normal body temperature. We're chilly. Not getting warmer. We're just gonna stay chilly. Great. Um... That's weird. Can I get out of here then? Because I think if that's making us chilly, we gotta get out. Okay. Um, stop trying to run, seeing how you can't. Oh, there's slime. Well, I could show you this thing's weapon. Look at that. Can I punch them as well? Okay, I can't really punch them. Oh. Um. Something got ripped. Can I, uh. Have this thing take a step back? I'm gonna dismount and get my gun out. It's gonna, I think, attack the back. I'm gonna take that slimes. I can just shoot you. I've got a proper gun. Okay, yeah, we're good. I think that we're good to keep on heading out, maybe. Oop. Um, yeah, climbing that. Oh, dang it. Dismount it. Yeah, get that out. We'll be out of here soon enough, though, and and we'll have a mech. I mean, unfortunately, as you can see, I'm not really using it. the The main reason is that you can't recharge the battery in it. Is as cool as the laser is. It has a legit cool laser. It's like got the same problem that the other really cool items have. Like, it it is finite. You can't really reuse it unless you find more batteries. Which I mean is doable. Okay, we're getting warmer now. I think we're okay. Yep. We are out and about. And we got ourselves a mech. Okay, so there's... This is kind of like the cow situation. You remember when we had that cow? We can't board while riding this. But we can dismount there. And then we can, uh, like, push it in, I think. There we go. And then, can I... Oh, that's actually our chihuahua. Can I capture something? That was kind of weird. Is this not allowing me to capture animals? There we go. I'm not sure. I guess maybe we can't put it in here. I, I saw someone say that you could put them in the livestock carriers. The robot carrier. Oh, this is a livestock call. Oh, okay, so this is a robot. Oh, okay, so we need the one up here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got that put away. Can I get a chihuahua out? Those robot carriers don't work for the chihuahua. Okay. That's weird. Okay, well we got our mech stored in our livestock carrier and our chihuahua as well. 
<laughs> and our, our mutant axe dude. And we got the that amazing mutagen stuff out from there as well. So I think that it's safe to say that, that that lab is done. I do feel like we do need to go over and check out this lab. It's going to have an ant hill right next to it, so it's going to be just another ant lab, basically. And then after that, I don't know, I kind of want to do some good old-fashioned zombie killing. I would really like it if we got the medical mutagen book. There, I also need to go through here with um, a crowbar and open up all the crates. I think that might have the medical mutagen book in it if we did that. Not sure, though. I just don't like the cold labs, though. If I'm completely honest. Yeah, let's get those cameras up. Um, it's night though, so it's gonna be kinda hard to navigate. Eh, it's fine. Oh, that's weird. The tiles underneath this get displayed. That's super bizarre. You see how, like, those are just, like, symbols that you can see underneath. Oh, that's weird. That, like, messes with my brain. I don't like that. <laughs> Though the vehicle, like, look at it for the most part, it looks really nice, you know? I would like to have some more cameras on the sides of this thing. I need to get those installed. I just keep on not prioritizing it, you know? It's like one of those things I'll complain about that I won't actually fix. There's a lot of things like that in this game. Oh, what am I hitting? Some rock or something. Okay, we got soldier ants. Before we go into the war zone, maybe I should um, fix up our clothes a little bit. I am on a new version that I haven't really played on, so I am a little bit nervous about the game possibly crashing due to nested containers kind of making things a little bit more like that, more prone to crashing. <laughs> Just a little bit, though. It's not, like, that bad for me, to be honest. But it does happen every once in a while when I'm like, wait, what? You know? Have I got anything else besides thread? I've got some sinew. That's it. Um, well, that's gonna make it impossible to repair anything. Do I have any string? I've, I surely have string. Yeah. Let's break some of that apart for some thread. Cool. Um, reload that. Okay. And then, can I now use that? Because, yeah, we got a leg pouch that's pretty banged up. And a molly pouch. Rags, do I have any sheets? I do. Perfect. I collected that for a reason. Let's just tear that apart, and then, um, we should be able to repair things, right? Just all the way. And same with that. And pretty much good as new. I think that might be able to get a little better with our leather that we've got. Yeah, it can't. Or that, okay. Also, probably don't really need this on right now. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty good to me. I think the tailoring kit came from here. Nope, that's full. What about here? Yeah, there we go. Oh, the porta potty. I forgot the name of this <laughs> this vehicle. Okay, let's get let's get to the lab. We'll maybe make ourselves some food. But the thing is, is that we may also find some food in the lab, so I'm not like I'm not gonna necessarily cook something right now. I think that we can deal with that once we're there, you know. Oh man, I saw the thing about the Retro Days uh, overmap from, uh, I think it's 
Is it Corgan? I think it's Corgan who does the blocks. Oh, look at that car. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That looks actually really nice. Just the regular car. That's that's pretty pretty sweet looking, man. Uh wait, hold on. Did I see a young queen somewhere? I saw a young queen ant somewhere around here. I swear. Where are you? You're right there. I knew you were there. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some distance. We're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna try and take out that queen because they can spawn a lot of enemies. Gonna close that. The skeletal, skeletal zombear. Okay. Has it seen me, or is it coming towards me? It's. It's coming towards me. I think it has not seen us. It is attracted to our sound though. And I think that that may be a worse problem than the fire breathing ants. Believe it or not. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just gonna run that one over. Kind of restock what we're gonna do. Oh man, all these letters. I'm not used to them. Just spoiled. Um, yeah, I think the lab we're gonna need to approach via that road. We're gonna have to get around that. A skeletal zombie. I'm I'm hoping that it's gonna attack some of the ants. And that we can like kinda work some magic like that. It seems pretty dead set on uh on meeting making our acquaintance. Yeah, I think we can kind of at least avoid getting hit by the queen and kind of get ourselves not into a great situation right up here but I think it's winnable and we have a lot of ammo like a lot of ammo and we got our minotaur friend so I think what I need to do is use said minotaur friend so he can come out but i need to take out that queen got my flashlight on and kind of see come on out man where's that queen I know that she's around here somewhere. Yeah, you guys are hostile, aren't you? Good, let's, uh, let's just start popping some of them then. Yeah, we're fine. We're totally fine. Uh, stop running, though. Come on, friend. You can take them out, right? Don't they just hit my car? I'm gonna make sure that nothing's uh, just smashing my car. You guys are all just ignoring us. Cool. Okay. Um, don't mind me then. I'll take out your soldiers. Where's that queen at? There you are. I see you. Okay. 
now that the queen's down, I'm feeling pretty good about where we are. I think that we can probably just push the car up to the the front and call that a day. Oh, north I'm hearing crash. Stop mashing my car. My car, dude. Not cool. For that. We start taking out some of these guys. Okay. I think that we're okay. For the... For now. Yeah, these guys seem to be okay with us. And we're kind of okay with them. For the most part. And there's going to be some issues. Yeah, you know what? Axeman, take care of him. There we go. I think that we could tell him to guard and he could probably take out anything that spawns. I just am a little bit nervous that one of them would spawn with the ability to spew out fire. Um, so let's see, what do we want to do here? I saw there's some issues about turrets not re returning fire properly, so I think that might have been what was going on with the Endolab um, thing. Like, they don't shoot. Uh, things that they can't see that are shooting them, which they used to be able to do. Uh, can I reload that? Yes. Cool. Alright, we should be a happy camper. I've got some science ID cards. I do have an electro hack as well. But I'm gonna just swipe this and open it that way. Because I believe that that uh, does spawn a turret. Okay. Okay, well, let's, um, let's toss in our flashlight, right? I throw this flashlight. Hold on. Let's wield the flashlight first over here. I'm going to peek, throw, flashlight, there, closed door, and can I open this, no, can I open that, maybe not, maybe we need to move the car, yeah we're going to need to move the car, be able to do this. Uh, back that up a little bit. Did I just run over a jack ant? Is that what just happened? I think that might be what just happened. I think we're gonna need to open that. Kind of run around here. And we'll shoot at it from across the way. Okay. I see it now. Yeah, what about here? Yes, I can see it from here, so I'm gonna take a shot from here. Maybe an auto. Fully aimed auto. Yep. Could have, could have hit our car a little bit there, but I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one way to get into a science lab. If you have a science ID card, or an electro hack, or even a jackhammer, you know, you can create that breach entry point super easily. Okay, and so it sounds like we got some company in here. It's probably a robot by the looks of it. And they kind of came over to investigate that door. Get this flashlight on. Just have a peek. Yeah, I think 
someone's changed the lab um, labs and how they kind of work. And I don't know if me making sound over there is going to distract whatever is in there. I think it's a drone that has a couple things going now. Can I... I'm going to try and run and open that and just try and kind of draw them out maybe a little bit. Maybe let's get to the door. Oh, Kevlar zombie. Hello. That's not so bad. Oh, wrong one. Oh, it's bleeding. It's, I'm just going to have a, a look and see. It's a bad bleeding. Okay, so I wonder, oh, I like how it displays the health there of the enemy. I don't know if it used to do that. I'm going to take a nice shot at you. And I don't know if, oh, it gets uh, bleeding on different limbs as well, it looks like. Oh, lucky you, malfunction shot there. I'm just curious if I close that if it will bleed out, you know? I think it might. It's trying to whack the door. <laughs> I think, yeah, it just died. Also, I want to shut that. Wait, what? Was that the soldier ant? Where did it go? It's right there, and then like disappeared. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that you could you could bleed him out like that. It's a zombie too. It's kind of weird. Yeah, okay, that thing's busted. We didn't get any bullets there. Is that the only one? Oh, really? Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, get the map area. I mean, we already had. Oh. <laughs> Is that? No, it's just a basin. Okay, that's not a lab. There's this strange temple over here. Oh my gosh. I can't I can't get like a normal episode anymore because I just keep on finding so many crazy things. There's always military bunkers as well that I don't think they have power armor, but they could have some good stuff in them. What what's some of the good stuff that you can get in those military bunkers? Like, I'm not sure if I even want to go to them or not, you know? Like, the military outpost. I could have some good bionics, right? From the operatives, the bio-operators or whatever. There's a ton of them, too, that I haven't explored around here. Got a strange temple and all these military things. Oh, man. The choices. Um, hello. Soldier ants. Oh, these ones have tiles. That's nice. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thanks for joining me. This has been Orange One.